Okay boys, we've worked on some warm-up drills and then we've gone into the key points of presentation. Now I'm going to allow you to present how you want. Uh, obviously you've got three or four different choices there. In anything I do breakdown work drills, I'll always have reaction, I'll always have the formation, and I'll always have what I class as a bit of stress, and then you'll return to action. So I won't just ever have one thing happening. There's a number of things happening in this drill. And it's as quick as we can take what we've done here and into a live game environment, because we don't play by drill by drill by drill. It's about getting into the game. But for this, what I'm wanting to do on my reaction, you're up and down on the cone. First man picks into the shield, just to concentrate again, ball carry, leg drive, how we go to ground, how we present. Second man in, good body height, grip onto shorts, stay strong, third man join. After that, Dean will call you away. We're out of there, we're down into what I call is the, the stress tunnel. First man in, second man in, third man stands and is the eyes. You boys know what to do there, show us in a minute. And then we return to the red cones. So there's a number of things we've got to think of. I want it done at 100 miles an hour, but I want it done absolutely spot on. Okay, happy. Do you want anything you're looking for? Just important for me again, protection of the ball at all times. Carry it correctly into contact. Make sure you get a quick and clean a recoil for the ball. Okay? Okay, good point. Ready? Go! Up and down. In, first man, good. Leg drive, good, 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 good. Push it away, second, third, stay strong, stay strong, gone. Gone, 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 gone. Down you come, in. Use the legs, 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 legs. Third man, eyes, good, good. Put pressure on them, boys. Up and out, red, 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 red. Hold. Excellent, well done, well done, superb. Right, let's just come back in again, we'll do it one more time. Okay, boys, just one thing, when you're coming back into position, just make sure that we don't come back and we're running like this, because usually you end up falling backwards. So when you're coming back out and into position to regroup for whatever you might be doing next, next phase of play, is just make sure that you've always got eyes forward, eyes back, eyes forward, eyes back, so you can always keep an eye on what's going on. Never take your eye off of what's happening in front of you and get yourself back here as quick as you can and then set. Okay, defensively, defensive coach will have an idea of how you want to set, but when you're coming out of a breakdown, get out of here, return to action, we call it, get yourself back into position as quick as you can. Boys on here, bag men, and I'm big on this in drills, are a great asset, but you've got to set the height. Okay, so make sure that you're low, ask them to get low, and you can also be coaches. Tell them, are they square, are they strong, are they locked in, are they grips? Okay, you can also speak, all right? So don't just stand there with bags and think you're part of the exercise and nothing's happening. Okay, ready, go! Up and down, let's go! First man in, legs, good, good, good. Recoil, 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 recoil. Good lad, stay strong, excellent. Go on, up and away, up and away, up and away, up and away. Good boys, stay strong, stay strong. Third man, eyes, stay strong, good, go on. Let's go. Okay, now just stop there, boys, well done, great again. In here, a referee could say, why have you got bags coming from the side? But the one key thing I want is I want us to be able to be strong in the tunnel, okay? The stronger we can be in there, the better. So for this drill, although it would be illegal in a game because players would be coming in from the side, for the sake of this drill, I want you making sure that you're in charge of your own body, yes? The key thing for me, lads, if you just set up the formation again, so first man take the ball in, second and third, and this is a key point for me, is this. In you go, grip on, stay strong. Dion, there's a huge argument about take the space or clear the threat. For me, if you take the space and win the space, there is no threat. Yes. But if there is a threat in there, then this first man must take it away. This man then takes the place of the cleaner and the next man comes in and joins. So for me, that is the key decision. Do I take away the threat or do I win the space? For me, I want to win the space every time. If I get to the space, there is no threat. Simple as that. But the only way you'll do it, boys, you can stand up, is by good body height, is by dropping early, is by knowing exactly what's happening in front of you, and every one of you has got a job. You've got the job of getting into space, good leg drive, setting up a fantastic base, excellent presentation. 
second man in, desperation, to make sure that there's no opposition get to him, and you're the second man, and you're setting a good foundation on him. Third man in. How many players do we want in a breakdown, boys, ideally? Three. three. You don't want any more than three. If I'm throwing five and six men into a breakdown, I'm going to run out of numbers. So one, two, three, fourth man then makes the decision, am I needed or am I not? Do you only want to make any points? Yeah, just in terms of the second man that done it now well the last time, is always to ensure that you don't stop behind the ball, but always go over the ball to ensure that you scrum up with a nice and clean ball to play for. I want, you know, we talk about the battle of the breakdown. I want a battle past the ball. I don't want a battle on the ball. Because for me, that's just going to slow everything down. Referee, what do you want to see? You want to see the ball away from a body and you want to see it in space. I think, Richard, this is a great drill to emphasise that and also to emphasise posture and body height at the breakdown. Makes it easy for the referees who have got a difficult job refereeing in an area where there's a hundred things going on. So we've just got to make sure that our skills and technique are spot on every time, especially when fatigued. Great effort, well done.